Okay. Um, when are you going to fix your airplane? What? I don't have an airplane. When are you going to fix your butterfly? Uh, I don't have a butterfly. It's not easy to put in words some of the stuff that needs to be repaired. Because uh, in English, it, uh, it's illogical and it doesn't make sense. Okay, how can you get yourself involved with a bunch of Mexicans? Not Mexicans, Mexicans. M-I-X. Mexicans. What's a Mexican? Figure it out. M-I-X. Mexicans. If you're considering how many times people stumble over their words and misspeak themselves, and then they go, you know, they have to repeat the sentence. These ones are known as Freudian slips. So you can look up Freudian slip. And what does it mean? It means there's stuff there's stuff that wants to come out. There's stuff that wants to be spoken about if it's talking and it's a misspeaking. Some word came out that's completely weird in a sentence. What do you do about it? Well, pay attention to when you hear Freudian slips or you know, someone says something and they go that's not what I meant to say because something there in whatever was said uh, needed to come out sometimes when I'm um, typing on my sp my smartphone um, I'll make a typo and uh, instead of immediately deleting it I'll look at it because sometimes there's a word there and I just file it away but sometimes it's a meaningful word. In other words, it's like my finger on, on purpose made the typo so I would see a word to bring something to my attention. There's a lot of things that are subliminal. A lot of things that are sort of in our unconscious that we don't have a really good way of tapping into and expressing because uh, we don't even know they're there but they're things that are coming bubbling up from the unconscious that want to be expressed and brought to our attention for maybe they need fixing maybe they just want to say hello to us always pay attention to your typos and you're, when people misspeak, or you say something that you didn't think you were going to say, pay very great attention to it. It's very important, whatever you said. Don't ignore it. Watch for synchronicities. Watch for, you might not, count, you might not get a synchronicity or an explanation for it right away, but make sure you just, that was weird. Everything happens for a reason. And sometimes we hate hearing this. Because marketers are very good at using this. You know. 
Everything happens for a reason, and you showed up in my showroom today, so must mean you need to buy this new TV. They lie to you. Marketers are excellent liars. And it's true, everything happens for a reason, but not necessarily the reason that the marketer wants to sell you some stupid thing. But they're very good at using that. So watch out for these marketers because they'll use that against you to try and make you buy something. Sometimes people go into um, some place where things are sold and the, re- the, uh, the people that are working there say, they came here because they're here to buy. I've had people that I work for that, t- that said, they come here to this property, they're here to buy. No. A lot of people came uh, to see me, and I was a salesperson, because they had to see me. There's not a lot of public spaces in our cities where people can, you know, just drive in and find you. When I was selling cars, when I wasn't busy dealing with customers, um, in my spare time while I was waiting for another customer, what was I doing? I was doing Ho'oponopono. Self-identity through Ho'oponopono. It's called cleaning. And it's a spiritual practice. You can look it up. It's pretty much all over YouTube these days. Ho'oponopono. It's a Hawaiian thing. And I was doing it. And people would come to see me at the car lot. And sometimes they would pretend that they were interested in cars because it was a car lot. And sometimes um, they weren't interested in cars at all. But they showed up. And then they disappeared and never heard from them again. And so, you know, we were forced to go and get people's contact information. So, you know, our telephone department would call these people and call these people. And, you know, some of them would just never come back. They, They weren't interested in cars. They came to see me because I was doing Ho'oponopono. Some people were taught Ho'oponopono will bring you customers and help you sell more stuff. Um, This is a bullshit thing. This is a bullshit thing. Um, I was there. Did I get more clients than everybody else because I was doing Ho'oponopono? No. No. Uh, There are beings 